Hang on, Riley. Hey. Hey, Howard. Uh, I'm mostly good. I'm mostly good. Uh, um, I just finished my uh, boat and finish. Oh, you were just talking with Karish? No, no, no. Actually, he uh, gave me feedback. Right. Right. Okay. So, uh, Anjan and Subham are um, just about to join. I'm going to grab my coffee and I'll be right back. Hey, hey, Gunjan. Hey, does, does anyone know if Ashish will be joining? Let's see. Yes, sir. Ashish will join uh, shortly. Oh, okay. Uh, Gunjan, uh, Ashish, is he with you or no? Yes. Okay, great. All right, I, I think um, Subham is still trying to get on the voice call. But uh, good, well, we should, let, let's get started and see what we can talk about. I think, um, I know that our conversations are difficult with the low bandwidth environment um, and so if needed we can uh, I think Anand last time that you had joined from I guess it was from the university that was such a better experience um, yeah actually from the I didn't hear what you said, actually, which is unfortunate. Um, <coughs> actually, I don't have a, a dedicated mic, so uh, oh. it's a bit of a problem. But yeah, got it. And I think we lost Gunjan. It looks like he accidentally dropped off. And Subham, he's joined a couple of times, but it looks like he hasn't been able to get his audio up. So I guess uh, what I'm wondering is, here comes Mata, that's good. I guess what I'm wondering is if we shouldn't, and Subham just messaged that he, he can't get any sound. I wonder if we shouldn't like reschedule for a time where people can be um, either at somewhere where you can have the bandwidth to share the screen and, and kind of talk and. So, Madhav, can you hear me okay? Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, I, I can hear you good as well, so great. Well, so, and here comes Ashish, that's good. So, Madhav, since, um, and Ashish has got good bandwidth, so that's good. So, Madhav, let's talk about your stuff since... Um, yeah, sure. Okay. Oh. Okay. So I changes the I made the changes in this section. So earlier, what I made the block which I made was quite big. So it hard to uh, uh, so when I decrease the sizes, so the text was written on the left side, it becomes uh, quite mm, tiny. So it's just hard to read. So I can uh, give it a clean look. So I think it is better now. Yeah, it really is. Oh. So I have added the hover, hover. 
facility also so it will give you a tool tip and the information about this section like this icon what is do when you click in, in this section it will directly redirect to the link uh, read in the link nice yeah uh from from a couple of perspectives it, yeah it's a it's, a it's certainly an improvement upon um what you'd shown last week and then it's also an improvement in general. I mean, yeah, this is, this is more engaging. I think it's more eye-catching for people that there are resources here that they might want to use. And um, yeah, I think actually we might wanna, even where it says community, um, I don't know, maybe we should say join the, like join the community because really what we're trying to do is get people to engage. This is- Okay. Yeah, looking pretty good. So, is this all SVG and CSS? Yeah, this is all CSS and PNG images. Oh, I see. Okay, is the coloring, the yellow coloring that happens, is that just CSS that's filling up? It's the CSS CSS code that I've written over here. Uh, let me show. Okay, here. Yeah. On this section, I have written the words of this icon. Oh, nice. It's basically a CSS file. Okay. And so this is. Uh... Wow. So the. Um... I guess it is, it's a little bit hard to tell over the zoom. You hover and it fills up the circle with yellow. Is there a bit, yeah. of, is that, is there like a bit of an, it, it kind of looks like it starts at the bottom and sort of fills up the top. Is, is there kind of like an animation to that? Is it? Yeah, yeah, it's an animation. Cool. Is that driven through JavaScript or through CSS? It's only from CSS only. Nice, okay. Uh, no, that's great, yeah. Uh, so what did we end up with? We ended up with five things. So one is, uh, oh. one's the meeting. So the first one is for the community uh, weekly, and the second one for watch recordings, community recordings, and the third one is for the subscribe community calendar, and the th fourth one is community drive, and the last one is the community comment on the design document. Awesome. Yeah, all right, good, Mara, uh Thanks. This is, this is great. I, I think that <clears throat> um, that we should probably go ahead and try to to land this to to get this merged. I think that uh, okay. It, it may be the case that um, you might see some tweaks on this over time that maybe we would switch from yellow to teal, just like the same color that the, the outline of the circle is, uh, because the, oh, okay. the effect is already is pretty cool and, um, and is engaging. And, and I, think, I think we use it, it, like you might, you could try this. You could try instead of teal. If you go to the landscape page, I think we've got hyperlinks in a certain color orange. And it may be that you want to try that orange and see what the circles look like. like. You mean that color? This one? The color in this yeah. Texas. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I can make. I can make it. Cool. And then, um, guys, I, I was in. Some some of you saw that I was in Guadalajara this last weekend, and and that was great. We were given a workshop. We taught people about meshery. So you, there's um, some new people who have joined the um, Slack. I think they're interested in contributing. And so, so I guess as a side note, if you guys see some Spanish flowing around in the Slack, then you'll you'll know where that's coming from. But uh, but more seriously, there's uh, one of the contributors is a, a graphic designer. And, and so, Madhav, I was just going to say, 
if you saw a change in some of the PNGs that we're using, don't be offended. The, the ones you've got, that, that's great. It's a, it's a step forward. If they got refined a little bit over time, uh, don't, you know, don't be surprised or, or don't you know, consider that people are building on top of your work. It's, it's good. Okay. This is nice, man. Uh, good. Any, anybody else have feedback for um, Madhub? Uh, yeah, uh, actually, I saw the misalignment with the cons or the SVG files. So, uh, which I one? Think the first and the uh, drive one. So, okay, this one and the this one, no? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So, okay. uh, if they are more okay, like aligned. I think you are, you are talking about this section, okay? I can fix it. Don't worry, I can fix it. And the second, I um, yeah, yeah, I think we should be changed. Uh, the right things, yeah. Okay. Okay, I will try to find the appropriate icon for this section. Yeah. Uh, thanks. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, I, I mean, if even if the icon that you used was as unoriginal as like the YouTube play icon, um, that you know that one would probably work pretty well. So okay. People, and then, um, nice. And then, so Madhub, do you know what's next? What's what's your next focus? Uh, uh, this I'm thinking to work on this section. Already made one, you know, the SVG of this part to so change color from this black to this yellow. So I try to add this one, uh, this picture to, to all those icons also. So after this PR, I can go for it. This one. Sweet. Good. 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 Okay. Awesome. Uh, and then Mata, um, uh, I'll suggest this, but, but leave it to you to manage your time. If, you know, as the week unfolds or as the day, days unfold, if you've got um, early versions and you want to get feedback as you're going, you know, feel free to take a screenshot or feel free to, um, you know, push the code to a branch and then ask us to go build that branch or, or something like that. And that way you can get a bit more, more than just one feedback a week. Cause, cause it's sometimes that's really helpful. Yeah, sure, sure. Nice. Nice. All right, great. I'm excited about this. This is good. Hopefully we'll get more people clicking on the community. All right. Uh, good. And then I think, uh, Ashish, you've got good bandwidth. It looked like, Maybe we should um, talk about, uh, well, one, uh, Ashish, I think you, you know everyone else on the call, right? You, you know Madhav and Subham and, and. Yes, sir. Uh, okay. Yeah. Great. So guys, I don't know if anyone's been paying attention to wave after wave of Ashish's and Gunjan's commits and their PRs. But you guys are animals. I mean, you, you, you guys are keeping me busy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, then, uh, and then funny enough, like just before this meeting, Ashish was like, well, hey, uh, I was looking, but I, I don't have it. There's no more work. Yeah, yes. Sir. <laughs> uh, I am not doing my job. Obviously, this is, uh, this is good. That's yeah. awesome. So I, I also had mentioned to Gunjan before that, um, you guys have gotten, for the most part, you've gotten the, 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 the flow of like, you know, cloning, creating a branch, doing your commits, signing your commits, doing a PR, merging, yeah. doing a review, res responding to review comments, etc. cetera. Um, there's, there's a, I think part of your flow will evolve, will continue to evolve a little bit, but 
but is I think you guys have crossed the threshold where um, you take on something with a little more teeth, a little more bite to it. Mm-hmm. And, um, Gunjan, I just asked very recently for you to take a look at the GitHub actions within um, Kuma, the, the, a new Kuma. Yeah. Yes. Honestly, I, this is, I didn't describe the issue very well. It was more like, hey, this adapter needs GitHub Actions and the workflow. Can you take care of it? And, and I don't know if that's just literally copying, copying the workflow from a different repo or if that's going to need to change some of the things in there. I think it's mostly a copy, but, but I kind of wanted to leave that to you to uh, figure it out. Okay. This one said, uh, what I have to call changes, I actually, I just copied from uh, the mesh workflow uh, and then I uh, change the uh, name. So, what I have to uh, further uh, change. Karish, is that, since you wrote those, um, is that about it? Just the name of the workflow at the top? Uh, so, sir, I, uh, I copied from the mesh workflow. Yeah. And I co- uh, copied the... Uh, whole uh, code for, uh, from uh, mesh workflow to uh, that uh, that uh, repo and I just uh, changed the name. So, so sir, I have, should I have to change uh, uh, more thing in that particular code or is it okay? Agarish is giving us the thumbs up. I think, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Like, you know, just the name has to be changed in the workflow. All the adapters like, pretty much should have the same workflow. Uh, the one addition is the secrets. You know, they have to be updated accordingly. That's the one thing that will be needed. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, Rish, uh, in terms of updating the secrets, is that something that you might just knock out on Gungeon's behalf? Or did we do it? Sounds good. No, no, I can, I can get it done. Yeah. Um, Awesome. So Gunjan and Ashish, then I want to maybe, since uh, maybe talk about something that's, you know, a couple of things that are a little more difficult. Um, you guys have contributed, I think, to the landscape on layer five. You've contributed to Meshery in the Meshery docs. You've mm-hmm. contributed to at least one of you to the Meshery UI. Uh, and then I think both of you to certain aspects of, of a number of the different adapters. So. So this is great. I think you, you've kind of made the, made the rounds, if you will, and gotten. Yeah. Um, oops, let me super miss. Just putting it back in. Um, so I, I'm going to talk about some things, and I'm not sure if these are things for you guys to work on or not. Um, mm-hmm. It's just top of mind for me. So. Actually, I just remembered one thing. Let me interrupt and say, since Subham is here, and I think he can hear me, Subham, I think Nupur is maybe, uh, maybe she's more, she has a, a more a closer relationship with you than anyone else, I think. Um, and Subham and Anand, since you guys, okay, very good. Since you guys have been here for quite some time and you've been um, helping... Yeah grow the community and um, bringing in folks like Nippur, um, it might, it, and since you guys are both uh, fourth years and seniors, it's, it might be, and, and, okay, and since we have, you know, like, I don't know, upwards of 10 or so people uh, within the Jipur area or at the university that, um, it might be time for, for, for you guys to do a little bit of mentoring, um, a little bit. And the, the, really the initial mentoring that, that I was considering is that, so Nippur had chatted with me yesterday and she said um, that she's very appreciative of being included in the project and she really thinks it's interesting and wants to contribute She's currently in an internship, and, uh, and I encouraged her to make sure that she 
does uh, very well in her internship, don't come contribute here unless you know, she has time. And so, so I didn't want to give her any pressure, but um, I think she wants to spend like this much time. And maybe when she's done with her internship, maybe she'll come over and spend more time. But like of, of the little bit of time that she's thinking of spending, I don't think that she's comfortable with the Git contribution flow. And so that's a perfect thing for Subum and for Anand, uh, for you guys to pass along and kind of maybe ha have a session with her or anyone else. Um, I think that Madhab, Ashish, and Gunjan are also very capable of, um, uh, of mentoring others in this way because, because you guys are now comfortable with that whole Git flow as well. Um, and so as I call out Subum and Anand specifically, I'm not saying that doesn't mean that others shouldn't be sharing and talking and, and, and that's excellent. Um, that would be wonderful, please do. I'm just hinting toward the way that if the community keeps growing like it is, I'm just hinting toward um, the need for a little bit of local discussion and, and a little bit of local mentorship a little bit of uh, stewardship, because to the point by which it grows much more than it has, we just will run out of time to have conversations with everybody all the time. And we'll need for others who've been around and contributing for a while to, to, to take on some of that, those softer items, take on some of that stewardship. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, so Subum is sick and, uh, and um, so no rush at all, Subum, on that, that request. I just, I thought I'd call it out because I, she had asked me that question and I wanted to make sure that she knew that the answers don't have to come from me or they don't have to come from Garish, that, that you guys have the answers as well. And so that's excellent. So, so um, let me talk about one other area. The, the thing I was going to say before that I think that I know that it's an area of need and it may or may not be something good for uh, one or maybe the two of you to work on together. Um, speaking of working together, I think um, Gunjan and Ashish, I think you guys occasionally work together. That's fantastic. I know for my part, it really helps me when I'm kind of uh, pair programming a bit or when I'm bouncing ideas off of others, or I'm doing, um, when I'm making Garish come over and look at the work that I've done so that he can correct it. And that really helps. And so, um, but so that's great that you guys are working together. I was mentioning that maybe, maybe working together on this type of a thing would be helpful. Um, so here, here's our current challenge. And I, I don't know if this is something for you guys to help out, out on or not, but Garish has been, um, We've been talking about GitHub Actions, and the and we have a build and release strategy document. I'm going to put the link to it. It's it's in the community drive in the in the Meshery community drive, but I'm going to put the link to it in the, our chat just for ease of reference. This document, you know, Subum has taken a look at it, you know, quite some long time ago, and it has evolved since then. And it's actually worth reading again because this now describes some different methodologies. One of the, the concepts that Garish and I have been chewing over is this notion of like a, of a stable release and an edge release like the edge release being kind of, um, well, you, you, know, you know, unstable, uh, um, more like nightly builds or more like builds that happen every single time that a PR is merged, that a, a, a new build is, is made. It's made available, but like, but on edge it, it, or on, as an unstable or a beta um, channel, if you will. So, so using inspiration uh, from Linkerd and frankly from a bunch of other projects like Docker, for example, that 
maybe we could get to a point where uh, now that we've got a full kind of CI workflow and publishing and releasing and release numbers happening for our stable or, you know, for, for our releases and uh, for our stable releases, maybe it would be helpful to have a concept of channels and let people, when they install Meshery, choose which one they want to be on, the, the latest and greatest or stable. Um, Garish, do you think I'm opening up a can of worms here just in, in terms of how complex part of this, get, this gets? Or do you think that there is areas of work that we can carve out that um, these guys might work on? Or is this just too core to the project? Um, no, I, th I think it's, it's okay. I mean, it's okay for others to uh, chime in and uh, take a stab at it. Uh, but then I think it will also depend on like, you know, your final ask to them. Right. Yeah. That's a good point that I, I haven't made an explicit ask. I've just kind of described the fact that we've got, we'd like to kind of get somewhere. Maybe then I think what the explicit ask is for those that are interested in focusing here. And by the way, there's a bunch and bunch and bunch and bunch of other work to be done in other areas. So don't, if you don't sign up here, that's totally fine. Don't worry about it. We're going to, we, there's a ton of other things to go work on. Don't, I mean, it, it, I'm just bringing this up because it's kind of a different motion. It's not necessarily go. It's not necessarily react, you know, um, it, uh, for those that kind of want to, everybody's welcome to read this and stuff and anyone's welcome to make comments and things. But if anyone's wanting to kind of take on part of that challenge that I'm talking about with respect to, an edge channel and a stable channel, um, then certainly read through the doc, make comments, um, ask questions. And I think our goal of having a more refined release strategy will evolve as you guys ask questions or as you dig in, and we'll be able to articulate a bit better uh, some of the explicit objectives so that um, you guys can take those on if, if you want to. So. so good. So that's good. Those, those were kind of three things that I wanted to make sure I, I mentioned to you guys. One is about um, some mentorship. Is about this other, some, some other areas that as we think about Ashish and Gunjan, um, like to the extent that any of you guys have a hankering, meaning an inclination toward machine learning things, there is absolutely the need for those types of that type of a thing in meshery. You can imagine that right now, the problem with getting you guys into working on those is that the meshery doesn't have a framework for executing machine learning things. And it, it's kind of a big consideration and something that we, the project doesn't have time for at the moment. Um, in the future, when someone runs, if you're in Meshery and you run, um, you validate your Istio config, um, you can imagine that uh, Meshery would also probably validate uh, how well your mesh is performing based on test results and other things that machine learning could be used to tell someone that, Hey, you've been running Istio for a while. You've been running your app for a while. You did some performance tests, but, and, and then you can have machine learning that watches some of the metrics. And if they spike or have an anomaly that that machine learning would detect it and tell the user, notify them, that, hey, maybe they need to tune their mesh. We are, we're pretty far off from that. I just wanted to mention that, like, ultimately the project needs that kind of a thing. So, uh, so Ashish and, and, and Gunjan, of the work that you guys are doing right now, um, uh, let, let's talk about it or, or um, what, what, what are you guys focused on and how can we help? 
Uh, sir, actually, I have uh, six uh, tasks to complete. Uh, one of them I have uh, just completed, and I'm working on the uh, 278 number problem. That was uh, I have to change some uh, version name. Like uh, I have to change uh, the ECTO version. Uh, uh, that was uh, that was I have to change ECTO vers uh, version 1.0 and have a console version 1.5 and linked v2 uh, that's uh, i have to uh, uh, change in the exact uh, website so i'm working on that thing very good Gunjan, that, that's great actually what i didn't describe is that all of them need to have a version um, listed that we support and, and i actually didn't write it down hoping that you might identify that yourself Yes. Nice. Um, uh, I, I, Ashish or Ganjan, I thought I thought somebody was going to take on something in the UI that. So I know Ashish. I think you took on this in the UI. Uh, yes, sir. Um, and did you already? Is this complete already? I think it is. Uh, yes, sir, I completed it. Nice. Okay. Um, actually, that's a good point that as we, uh, and Ashish, I think, I think it was this week, Ashish, I reviewed one of your PRs, I approved it, and I didn't merge it. And, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you came back just to confirm, like, is it okay to merge it? And, you, and I said, yes, and you, and you did. That's yeah. fantastic. Yes. Let me talk about that for a second to tell you guys um, a couple of the activities that that you guys can do, um, which is, yep, I think if a PR is approved, um, it's, okay, it, it's okay to merge. And so if, if we don't do it, then you're empowered to do it. If a PR is merged and it fixes an issue in its entirety, if it fixes the entire issue, then so long as there's a link, a relationship created, a link between the issue and the PR that closes it, then you can go ahead and close the issue. So in this case, we would just need to say, you know, fixed by some, whatever the issue, whatever the PR number was, and then once that link has been established, you can close the issue. So great, and then that way, um, you guys are able to perform some of those activities and help help keep the set of work um, accurate. Let, let me stop and say, did, did, does anyone have, we don't have that much time left, does anyone have something that they wanted to bring up, needed some answers on? Yeah. Uh, I have a problem that uh, Kirish told me to remove hyphen f from the command of Docker Compose in start or so. And after removing when I build the CCTO, it was not working. It was just showing the commands that are associated with Docker Compose. So putting back that it was working, I actually start the build. I haven't pushed that uh, yet, but uh, yeah, this one. So, okay. I just uh, took it back and again built it and it was already fine. So, I was uh, specific, so it is the problem. Is, uh, I should remove it now. Uh, if I remove it, so I'll do the changes. A good recent any comment here? are we good there um yeah i mean like if, if it works it's fine i mean i had probably misunderstood because there were like two f's there so like you know i mean so that's probably like you know, my mistake uh you know so uh, i th i think you do need the hyphen up there so let's leave it there yeah that's that's a good catch okay. great sounds good so anon Here's an exciting thing about your PR. When 
this one lands, when this one is merged, it is time to cut a new release based on that work. So that's going to be awesome because of the work that you will have done on Mesh CTL, um, it will be enough that it, it's appropriate for us to do a version 015. So this is a draft of that release. It's just getting, it's kind of sitting here waiting. It's not published. And when, when it's, it's waiting for your work to be done. And so we'll make a release based on that. So that, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, I will just push it right away. Actually I've done with the work. I can just push it right now. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. That's a way that's that. Yep. We'll have to be Twitter happy about that. That's pretty cool. Uh, we, we, we've got a few more minutes left. Um, I have a bunch of stuff that I can talk about, but I want to make sure that if you guys have other questions that we, we speak to them. So, so uh, Ashish and Gunjan, there is, uh, you guys have been, okay, Subham got, got it. Okay. Um, and Subham, actually, if you can remind me again of the item that you're focusing on. Ashish and Gunjan, the, the, we, we're, we've got that new CI, pro, the new continuous integration process in place. We're trying to go through and fix all the lint errors and all the security errors and all these. So the, the work there is um, quite, quite important uh, as we go to prepare Meshery for admission into the CNCF. We're going to want to hit um, um, a certain level of right uh, where is it right here there's a best practices for open source infrastructure projects like ours where they want you to have a bunch of things in place in order to get a silver badge or get a passing level badge that badge is going to help the project get into the CNCF. And part of that is going through and fixing all the lint issues. So there's actually, so here's something that, that you guys can do actually, um, Ashish, you in specific, if you, since you don't have an, an open issue, you can go to any of the, adapter, any of the repos, and look at um, issues that they have. So, so this last commit, this last merge, ran into lint issues. So you can go in and, and you can actually create the issue uh, and then provide the fix in a PR and, and, and you will, will review. But this, is, this would be a good thing for you to go take initiative on and just say, look, I found some lint issues here. I'm creating the issue. I'm going I'm to fix them. And we, we basically need to do that across all the repositories. Yes, sir. Yeah, nice. And I think this is our last topic of the day, considering we've got like, just like less than a minute left. Um, Ashish, uh, the feedback that I was giving about um, trying to include a, a more descriptive comment as opposed to a comment that says we Lint says that you have to have a comment here. So I'm putting a comment here. Mm. I mean that that passes Lint. Um, I, you didn't write that exactly. I'm making that up. But anyway, you, when you put the comment, you tr try to you know, try to say, ex you know, explain what the code is about. Mm. But otherwise you're doing I mean, you're doing great. It, it's good. Mm. Okay, sir. So guys, I'm going to do something for next week. I'm going to extend our meeting time a little bit. I'm going to start to use probably Google Hangouts so that we can have a little more time because I think we need a little more time to talk about some of the work that we're going to do, particularly in the UI. Mm. Uh, and so, Ashish, I might have a couple of UI items your way. Okay, sir. You guys are doing good. I mean, Gunjan and Ashish, you guys came up to speed fast. This is good. Good. 
Subum, I'm just, I'm still just waiting on the, you know, the notifications for the stars, you know, and just, uh, <laughs> yeah.